Hi, I'm Angel Gray with Dream TV, and I am here with Angel McCartry, not one, but two-time Olympic gold medalist. Mm -hmm. What is it, first off, welcome back home. Thank We're you. We're happy to have you back in Atlanta. Back. <laughs> what is it like to obtain another gold medal? Oh my God. To, to be a two-time Olympic gold medalist now, it's just, it's just amazing. It's an amazing feeling. Um, you know, we work so hard to, to get there, and then it's finally when you accomplish it. It's just like wow, like all that hard work paid off. And I, I kept telling a lot of people while we were there, they were like, "Oh, you're killing teams." But we're, we're like, you know, it's it's so hard. It's not easy, even though the school looks like we're up 30 points. So um, it definitely was a lot of hard work and um, sacrifice. And I really enjoyed these these ladies I played with. Right now, you did bring it up. You said winning by a large margin. You're playing right. with the best of the best. The best Everyone of the best. there wants to be a part of the WNBA. You're a part of an Olympic team as well as playing in the WNBA. Mm -hmm. How did your coaches keep you focused, not looking at the scoreboard results? Exactly. That's why we were able to to do so well because um, he helped us to realize that we're not going to just play mediocre. We're going to play on, on our level. We don't. We're not here to appease anybody. So what if we win by a hundred points? He didn't care. He was like, we're going to play at our level, and he said, hopefully people can can come up to our level. And, and it made me think like, wow, like he. That's why he's so good at UConn because, you know, no matter how good you are, that's not. You don't have to feel bad for that, you know what I mean? And um, so I really learned a lot from, from him and the coaches. Um, Don Staley was there mm -hmm. from South Carolina, Sharif from Minnesota, and they all have um, winning records. So mm -hmm. it was good to be around all those kind of coaches and just learn from the best of the best. I really enjoyed my experience. I learned so much in three weeks. Like <laughs> Six imagine. straight. Six straight. Six straight. Mm -hmm. The women, you talked about the coaching staff, the women, how do you, co how do you come together? and just make it such a memorable moment. Describe what your experience was with that group. Yeah, well, when I was down there, a lot of people say, is the pressure of winning to fix six, six straight? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, um, no, it's not. And Coach A, he told us, uh, Coach Ariyama, he was like, you know, they're trying to put pressure on us to win six straight. He said, it's pressure for everybody else to win, not us. Mm -hmm. He said, we're the running champs. And once he put it in that perspective, we were kind of like, okay. But, you know, there is no um, no pressure on us. The pressure's on everybody else to win, mm -hmm. not us. So you kind of put that in perspective. What did you learn? You said you learned a lot in these two weeks. Mm -hmm. What did you learn? I just learned from watching, you know, um, watching how the best girls, Diana, Tarasi, Sue, Tamika, what they do to warm up, what makes them the best. And, and they're always just so on point with everything. And um, through pressure, they never, they never, they always stay poised and composed. They never get out of, out of, out of tune. So just watching that, I learned so much with that and just, Things Coach A said every day. He always had an awesome speech before practice, after practice, before a game, after the game, and it really he really knows how to motivate you and just get you to play 150 percent. Okay. Now you have two gold medals now. Congratulations. Thank you. But what's the first? What's the difference between the second one and the first one? As far as the medals are concerned, mm -hmm. there's no difference. They're both real gold. They're heavy. They're beautiful. <laughs> as far as the Olympic experience, mm -hmm. um, the difference now from London was um, I'm. You know, I'm older now. I know what to expect. You know, the first Olympics, I was just there. I lost chip in the dip. Didn't know what was going on. Just, just played. Now I, I really understood the experience and the history of it, and um, it just meant so much now. Now, your fiance was all over the screen. Oh my God. She, you said that she gets more TV time than you she did. She got more TV time <laughs> than I did like at the Olympics. Well, first there. of all, they, they nicknamed her <laughs> Miss America, Lady Liberty. Very nice. Um, she, Very just, she just had these awesome outfits every game. Mm -hmm. So the first day when I saw it, I'm like, I'm kind of embarrassed. Like, what is this you have on? I'm like, it's just like it's cool. I'm like, but everybody else is dressed like this. But they were very conservative. Right. She's like, no, let me be, let me do this. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna let you be great. <laughs> and sure enough, people loved it. Mm -hmm. She was always on the TV that the awesome. whole game. So it, it was a lot of fun. It was but definitely a lot of to fun. To do watching something her. different, to see somebody like you know have fun with it. Mm -hmm. That was definitely a lot of fun to watch that and also follow you via social media. We felt like we were a part of the Olympics. So I was like, yes, that's we're there. Yes, this that's, is exciting. That was my goal. I think one of my favorite photos was seeing you with Christ the Redeemer by yourself, but then also with the team as yes. well. But were a few other experiences that you really enjoyed? Mm -hmm. Well, that was definitely my goal to, to allow people to, to kind of feel the experience not being there. Um, besides Christ the Redeemer, we went to Sugarloaf Mountain mm -hmm. and it's these cable cars that go up to the top of the mountains and stuff. So beautiful view by the Christ to Redeem. And we also went to Copacabana Beach, the very famous beach there. They have millions of beaches, but this is one of the famous ones. Um, and they had um, Ipanema Beach, beautiful. I mean, you just see the mountains and you just, the water's clear and the sand is so soft. 
um, and then a lot of um, what a lot of people do in the Olympics they have different houses so you might have the Jamaica house the house of Hungary USA house so we spent a lot of time in the USA house just they have um, a nice lounge you can relax free food gifts so um, got to enjoy the USA house a little bit and do some of those kind of activities so it was fun and I got to see beach volleyball nice I got to watch one of my favorite players Curry Walsh nice they actually lost that game to Brazil um, to go to the bronze medal which they won, but it was amazing, amazing experience. You said you wanted to do that. That was something that you wanted yeah. to change the first year. You were just in tune yeah, with what you were doing. First year I didn't go to any events, so this year I got to go to some more events. It was amazing. All right, and then just with coming back, goal accomplished, you get the gold, you're coming back. Now you have to finish the second half of the mm -hmm. WNBA season. Yeah. First off, how was your body? Because you know that you were competing for a goal for USA. Mm -hmm. And then what, what excites you about coming back to this group of women? Yeah, that's funny because Actually, at USA Basketball, we were a little tired and a little sore toward the end. Mm -hmm. And Coach A says, um, he says, you know, we know that you're tired. He said, we know you're banged up. We know the other team's tired and banged up. He said, but these people out here, they don't care about that. They just care about who got the gold in. And I'm like, yeah, that's no excuse. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm taking that and I'm using it here. And nobody cares that I'm tired from um, being in Rio. They want to see Atlanta win. They want to see us make it to a championship. Well, thank you so much. We're happy to have you back. I know we're a pretty stingy group here with the Atlanta Dream. You can just flash your gold medal to the mm -hmm. camera real quick. Get thank that you close so up much. real quick. <laughs> right there. It's very nice. We're definitely going to get a photo. But Angel, thank you so much. Welcome back. We're excited to finish off this season with you. Thank and you. Dream fans, thank you for tuning in.